This one's going to be on this program called Fuzzy Finder. It's actually really awesome to have a in-curse interface to filter out your results. And you can actually execute it depending on what line it is and whatever your command is. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example. Let's say we open uh, the mouse pad here. And maybe, I think we have, no, I don't know if we have anything else. Okay, let's say X Randor here, or A Randor, I mean, right? Um, if you want to kill those programs using this, kind of like an HTOP, let's say I hit my hotkey here, control Q here, and I'll list out all your process. And if I type in mouse pad, uh, you see it has a mouse pad at the bottom here. Or you can use your up and down arrow. They have this little red shit in the side to know which line you're on. And you hit enter, and you see it kills the text editor. Now we still have a Randor. So let's say we kill that one too. Uh, Q here. So a Randor, we find it. There you go, this is the one, right? And you hit uh, enter, and that should want you to kill that one too. So we kill both programs. So it's kind of like a replacement for HTOP if you want to do that. Not really. Um, other things you can do. Let's say you want to use your history. Some people use the uh, control R to find you know your stuff in the history. You can use this program to emulate that, but with an anchorage interface. Let me show you what I mean here. Uh, if I hit control F here for my high keys, um, let's say for example I want to go into my common folder. And there you go, I'll just type in common and it'll filter out all the other ones and enter here. You see it goes into my directory here and I can list it out. Uh, oops, I gotta list the whole thing out here. Right. Uh, something like that. Or let's say you go for example again. If I want to go into my uh, downloads folder, I can go to downloads, hit enter here. And there you go, we're in our downloads folder, right? Something like that, real quick. Uh, or other commands that you have in your history, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, the last example I'll give you, let's say I go into my um, media folder here. Now, normally when you go into a folder, let's say you have these two folders here. Um, you know, you have to type in CD into that folder and then something else like that. If you use this command, it'll actually find out the directory and subdirectories of it, and all you gotta do is filter it out. So, for example, if I hit Control E here, uh, instead of typing, you know, CD into my media folder, blah blah blah, I can just type out whatever that subdirectory is. So, for example, if I want to go into my screenshots, I just type in screenshots, um, and it'll you know come up here, and there we go. We're in our screenshots, and I can just list it out real quick um, and you can do other things with this so for example let me give you another example here if you want to type this out yourself you can do you know create one your own you can do xdg open um, and we'll use the locate command for this how about that um, so we'll do locate we use uh, the regular expressions and case insensitive and we're just going to find mp3s so we do mp3s uh, what is that? MP3s. Oh, no, that's MP4. Uh, anyone MP3s. And we'll pipe it into FZF for Fuzzy Finder. And that's it, right? And when you do this, what the hell do I have to line for? Do it again. When you do this, uh, you hit enter. It'll actually filter out all this stuff that I'll find in the locate command. And I'll give you an anchor interface. And if I want to type out you know, the music that I want, let's say, for example, um, Double Dragon uh, track four, and I hit enter. It should open up with uh, your default, you know, music player, or whatever. And you see it's playing Double Dragon here, although you can't hear it, but that's not what it does here. And there you go. That's something like that you can do yourself, uh, or if you know some more bash scripting for other programs, you can do that. You can use it with the find command, locate command. Whatever the commands that you can think of. Um, so I'm thinking of some other stuff we're going to do with this. But in the future, once I write it out, and I'll show you guys some other ones. But anyways, that is the program in a nutshell. And I usually like to bind it to a hotkey. So I'll show you how to bind it to a hotkey. Depending whatever shell you use. If you're using Bash, it's a little different. Using ZSH, is a little different. If you use some other shells, I don't know. Okay, I only use, I don't even know Bash and, and ZSH here. So for example, I'll give you an example for the ZSH here. Uh, these are the commands that I got from their website. So the history one that we talked about, right? Uh, the kill process and the 
you know changing directories this is actually straight from their website I just changed it for um, ZSH here but this one is um, the functions that I give you right so the one that we talked about was you know change a directory here um, the history command that we used it and the process kind of like the htop thing uh, from here and all I did was copy you know the commands here and paste into uh, it's a little different but I paste into here for example this history thing here is straight up from here right and that one starts there and ends here and basically these are the function it ends up into here uh, but we're binding to a ZSH widget so we can actually call it from a, uh, a key binding so this is the function basically this is uh, the widget that we bind it to a uh, hotkey which is uh, control F and so on and so forth you get the pattern here it's not that hard so basically you make sure that uh, all your function names are the same here right and uh, your commands goes here and the key binding whatever it is um, you know you want to type it here so this one's control F this one is control Q control E and so on and so forth um, normally if you want to do this without the, the bindings you can just have to type it in yourself so FZF uh, was a history or whatever right and, and that's how you would execute that but to save time we just bind it to uh, control F here so I hit control F and I'll do the hotkey for me or I mean yeah the hotkey of that function so on and so forth now that one's for ZSH but how you do this for bash here so let's go into bash um, RC here so same thing so this one is for history uh, that we copied directly from uh, this thing here so this is the function in bash that we paste in and the binding really not that hard you type in bind and uh, hopefully you know how to use the bind command uh, you can bind hotkeys too but this one we bind it to control F right and this is the function that is calling so this is the function and this uh, slash n just means new line or basically uh, means enter so normally if you do this and this one is bash let's go into our bash shell here right so normally if you do this you type in fh and that's how it'll execute but now that we set up a hotkey so this one is control f you don't have to do that you just hit uh, control f and i'll call this program here right uh, so that's that if you want to bind hotkeys uh, with your functions depending on bash or zsh but it's a pretty cool program i'm gonna try to write some other stuff with it uh, i guess my ideas in mind but uh anyways that is a fuzzy finder uh, just go install it yourself not really that hard that'll be it for this one